Assalamu alaikum friends I hope you all are well and enjoying learning with language and linguistics Today we are going to start discourse analysis This one is the first lecture and the title is an introduction to discourse analysis So let's move to our first slide to learn about discourse analysis what is discourse analysis? Discourse analysis examines patterns of language across text. It also considers the relationship between language and the social and cultural context in which it is used. Similarly, discourse analysis considers the ways that the use of language presents different views of the world and different understandings. It examines how the use of language is influenced by relationship between participant as well as the effects the use of language has upon social identities and relationship. It also considers how views of the world and identities are constructed through the use of discourse. The term discourse analysis was first introduced by Zelig Harris in 1952 as a way of analyzing connected speech and writing. Harris' main interests are the examination of language beyond the level of sentence. And second main interest is the relationship between linguistics and non-linguistic behavior. Harris' aims were to describe the language features, those are distributed within text, and the ways in which language features are combined in particular kinds and styles of text. Harris' important observations were connected discourse occurs within a particular situation, whether of a person speaking or of a conversation or of something sitting down occasionally over the period of months to write a particular kind of book in a particular literary or scientific tradition. There are typically ways of using language in particular situations. Discourse not only share particular meanings, they also have characteristic linguistic features associated with them. What these meanings are and how they are realized in a language is of central interest to the area of discourse analysis. Relationship between language and context. By the relationship between linguistics and non-linguistic behavior, Harris means how people know from the situation that they are in, how to interpret what someone says, and language has different meanings in different situations. In situation one, we are going to analyze how same sentence is used in different situation that has different meanings depending on the context. For example, an air traffic controller says to a pilot, the runway is full at the moment. It means it isn't possible to land the plane at the moment. It seems simple and obvious to native speaker of English. But for non-native speaker, pilot needs to understand the relationship between what is said and what is meant in order to understand that he and she cannot land the plane at the time. We can learn the relationship between language and context through discourse analysis. Let's have a look on situation 2. If I say the runway is full at the moment to a friend who is waiting with me to pick someone from the airport, this is an explanation of why the plane is late landing. However, I may know this and not an instruction to not land the plane. Harris point is that the expression the runway is full at the moment has a particular meaning in a particular situation. In first situation, it means the landing of a plane is not possible because the runway is full. In contrast, in second situation, the runway is full at the moment means the reason of late landing of the plane. Discourse analysis considers the patterns of language across texts and the relationship between language and the social and cultural context in which it is used. Discourse analysis examines views of the world and identities. Those are constructed through the use of discourse. 
Selig Harris used this term DA as a way of analyzing connected speech and writing. His main interest was the examination of language beyond the level of sentence and the relationship between linguistics and non-linguistic behavior. His main aim was analyzing the language features, those are combined in particular kind and style of text. The relationship between linguistics and non-linguistic behavior means people's understand and interpret via discourse in different situation. Thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe language and linguistics in order to get the notification of all new videos instantly. You can also find the PDF file of 